dear student uh, in this uh, tutorial we will write a fortan code based on gauss elimination technique with partial fibrity uh, we have uh, here the gauss elimination method simple gauss elimination method and uh, in this uh, uh, fortan code we will modify it and uh, we will save it as a gauss elimination with uh, pivoting gauss elimination with pivoting pivoting method so if you remember in uh, previous class uh, we have uh, find out how to write a fortan code for uh, arranging a number in ascending order or descending order also we have learned that uh, how to find out a greatest number in an array so those two features has to be incorporated in this program and uh, to find out the highest number in a column and to interchange the row uh, which has got the highest element with that of the pivot row containing the pivot element so to do so uh, for every every kth operation we need to find out which one is the highest and interchange with that of the with the, the row has to be interchanged with the row having the pivot element so we uh, it is better to uh, call a subroutine and i call this subroutine as interchange call interchange and uh, the arguments will be n the order of the system a and the k and after that uh, end uh, comment comment and uh, we will write subroutine to find the largest number as well as inter changing of rows and uh, in that procedure first we have to find out which one is the highest element in the column so to find the largest element in the column to find the element in the c o l u n n column i will write uh, them like subroutine subroutine interchange and that is my nak this order is important the argument nak n comma a comma k and dimension dimension of the d i m e n s i o and dimension a then i will write 10 comma 11 dimension has to be declared then i will say my large is equal to a b s absolute value of a k k after that do uh, 5 i will start from k plus 1 to n if my a b s absolute value of a i comma k uh, is greater than oh so the absolute value of a i k one bracket has to be close greater than a b s absolute value of a then bracket k comma k bracket close bracket close 
and again bracket close then then uh, large is equal to a b s absolute value of a i comma k bracket close and if and if n and t i n u t continue so basically what we are doing we are finding the largest number in a column and uh, here the value of the k is fixed only the value of the i will change and i represent the various rows and uh, so by this uh, code we can find out the largest number in a column but we need to find out the which row has got the highest element also so for that we introduce a variable uh, we called it as a row my row is equal to the k so whatever the value of the k is my row but uh, uh, after after this this row variable will change and it is equal to i okay but if we write a row then we have to write we have to assign it as integer i n t e g r integer as my row row okay so first uh, k equal to 1 row equal to 1 okay and the procedure will go on if uh, and uh, it will find out the largest number in the column now what we have to do we have to interchange the ith row with the kth row inter changing the ith row with the kth row so if my uh, akk is the highest then we will not have to change it but if the another element uh, in the same column is the highest then we have to change so uh, if statement is required if my row is not equal to k then sorry here it is required 5 continue statement we will start with 5 continue if and ok then I will write uh, do 6 and j equal to 1 comma n plus 1 j is the number of the columns so for a particular i all the columns has to be elements of all the columns has uh, a particular value of i all the jth elements all the j's element has to be changed so we have used we have to use a temp variable temp variable will store a then row comma j and uh, a row comma j equal to a k j and uh, a k comma j is equal to temp so we have used uh, such type of features when we have uh, find when we have find out when we have arranged or arrange a number in ascending and descending order so same thing we will do we have to interchange the rows so 6 uh, I'll let continue then the if statement has to be closed e n d i f and if and after that return it will return a value and end so save it and come here 
so we will run this program so it has run cross elimination with pivoting enter so enter the dimension of a system so let's We have solved this problem earlier, so we will use this system. So my system is a th uh, system is having three variables. So three and then two, two, one, six, four, two, three, four, one minus one, then one then zero enter so my x1 is 9 we got x1 what is the my x1 so z is last value is minus 10 okay then y is minus 1 okay and x1 is 9 so the degrees if you remember in our previous discussion we have uh, deal with a problem where we need to reshuffle the equation now we will again see without reshuffling and using pivoting technique we can solve it so 3 dimension then we'll write 3 6 1 16 then 2 4 3 13 then 1 3 2 9 so we get 1 to 1 so we need not have to reshuffle the equation so that is the good feature for pivoting technique hope you have understand thank you for watching